It's the first round featherweight quarterfinal between Uganda's Sharif Bagheri and Australia's Luke Jackson. Yeah, Luke Jackson, a very neat boxer, um, holds his hands high. Bagheri, I noticed against a uh, South African opponent, Dalamini, um, was a little bit easier to hit, even though he did win 51 to 33. I think it's the highest scoring bout we've had of the competition. So it's, uh, it's going to be a test for the Australian um, featherweight representative. But it should end up a very, very good bout indeed. Both of Jackson's wins have been on points, 17-9 and 12-5. So both fairly low scoring affairs by comparison. The Ugandan boxer on the scoreboard with the first two points here. Nice left hook he landed there. Throws lots of punches, the Ugandan. So Jackson's defence, perhaps the key to the contest. Good right hand over the top there from Bogheri. Away to a lead of three. A minute gone in round one. Bogheri attacking well. Jackson still to get on the scoreboard. Crowd trying to urge him on. That should do it. It does. That was a very good right hand over the top of uh, Bogheri's left lead. Very knowledgeable boxing crowd in Melbourne. Capacity crowd today, as it will be again tonight. Jackson, hands held high, looking for an opening. O'Gary slipping, gets caught there. Just glancing blows, didn't register. Three, three of the five judges didn't see it as a scoring blow. You have to have three of the five judges hit the corresponding blue or red button at the same time to register a point. Same with those blows, very light, barely touched uh, Luke Jackson's head headgear. Throws lots of punches, Bogheri. There's the bell for the end of round one. And the Ugandan being awarded the round by our five judges, four points to two. But nothing in it. And certainly not a way to the huge start that he had in his previous bout. That was that right hand from Luke Jackson. That was a good, that was his best punch of the round. And that was the 51-33 fight we were speaking about. The highest scoring bout we've had so far in the boxing tournament here at the Melbourne Exhibition Centre. Luke Jackson in the, in the blue has fought two fights. His opponent had a bye in the first round. And as I mentioned, both were fairly low scoring affairs. 17-9 and 12-5 respectively. Yes, compared to that win over of, of, uh, the Ugands over the South, South African, low scoring. Both boxers standing during the changeover. Huge Australian contingent here, obviously cheering on the Australian representative in the featherweight division. 57 kilo class. Jackson needs to make up a little ground in the second. Ugandan opens the batting in the second round. Yeah, caught with the right hand there, Luke Jackson. Yeah, Jackson got through with that right hand. He's landed the right hand a couple of times well. they are his best shot so far. Throws a lot of leather, the Ugandan. Yes, he throws punches in bunches. Following Jackson round the ring. Jackson content to skip away, looking for a clear opening. Relative novice, Jackson. As I said, only been boxing a couple of years. He won the Tasmanian Championships. Not even after a year, he took up the sport. Now it's level. Oh, big right hand from Luke Jackson. That was the best punch of the fight. He's gone ahead. He's landed this right hand about four times flush on the chin of the Ugandan Sharif Bogheri. And that's uh, they've been the heaviest blows of the bout so far. Certainly be earning the Ugandan's respect. Oh, and again, that's that right hand. The right hand's a winner. Bogheri on the attack here. 35 seconds, round two remaining. The Australian representative in the featherweight division, two points up at the moment. Oh, and again, the right hand. Just glances his Ugandan opponent. Jackson, 7-5 the round from our judges so far. 
That's good. Jackson boxing well. Using the ring. Bogeri throwing lots of punches. But Jackson, the cleaner puncher at this stage, landing the better scoring blows. Been a good round for the Australian. Good stiff jab from the Ugandan. Didn't register. And another one. Glancing blow. And there goes the bell for a very good round for Australia's Luke Jackson over Uganda's Sharif Bagheri. And quite often we see a pattern developing in the second round or a change, Barry, don't we? And it happened here. We, yes, we certainly did. Uh, first round was relatively even. Um, but the Ugandan was getting nailed with the right hand in particular from Luke, Luke Jackson in the second round. There. there. Yep. Beauty. Right on the button. I'm sure we will see more of it in the third round. It's proved a winner for him so far. Go to Andreas in the corner. Following out the instructions. And Luke Jackson is another one of our Australian, another one of the Australian representatives with uh, Koshizu as his idol. And that's understandable because the Koshizu, one of the greatest fighters in history. Third round of this featherweight quarterfinal between Australia's Luke Jackson and Sharif Bagheri from Uganda. 9-5 in favour of the blue corner. Bogheri will come out firing on all cylinders here. He'll throw heaps of punches this round. On the attack. Jackson the cleaner hitter so far. Right hand's been a good scoring punch. Oh, good left hand from Bogheri. Scores again. again. And again. Didn't get on the board that one. The Ugandan putting, throwing lots of punches here. And again, he's got to get on the board with that one. 3-1 for oh, the Ugandan. Oh, Ugandan bombing with both hands. Both boys wrestle to the floor. having a good round, putting on heaps of pressure, throwing lots of punches as we've seen him do before. 4-1 so far, Barry. Yeah, he's a good two-handed fighter, Bogheri. Both boys getting tangled up again. Well, it's going to go right down to the wire, you'd reckon, at this stage of the fight. Bogheri unlucky not to get a point there, I thought. Jackson under a lot of pressure. Not working as hard as he did in the previous round. No, the Ugandan coming home strongly here, throwing lots of punches. Got Jackson on the back foot. He's not doing anything. Just He's just evading at the moment. The Ugandan expended a lot of energy there. They didn't get a point for it. I, would have, I thought he was a little unlucky there. Finally, the Australian gets a point. Crowd cheering. Quarter of a minute to go in round three. Luke Jackson boxing curly for a, a, a boxer with the relative inexperience he's had. He's very cool. Got a cool head in there. He may need to work harder in the final round if he's to get the verdict, but the Ugandan won the round from our five judges, scoring at 4 2. Jackson 11 9 with one round to go. Well, it was untidy in parts that round, but the man on screen in the red, Bagheri from Uganda, certainly took the points and carried the fight right up to Luke Jackson. For a, 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 at least a minute there, Luke Jackson barely threw a punch. He was, uh, you know, concentrating on defence and using the ring. And I thought this man on screen was a trifle unlucky not to get a couple more points, to be honest. Yeah, you mentioned that. So, let's see if it's fitness or the awkwardness of the... Ugandan, it's going to be close, whoever gets the verdict. Going to go down to the wire. Fourth and final round of this third quarter final, Luke Jackson of Australia, Sharif Bagheri of Uganda. Giorgio Brunoli sends them out for the final two minutes. Two points in it. 
Bo Geary attacking with both hands. Luke Jackson under a lot of pressure. Needs to do more than he did in the third. Oh, that was yes. a good left hook. That was a good left hook from the Australian. Oh, another nice. one. Yep. Left hook's working well now. Seeing those punches from Bogeri, just made three miss. Thrown to the canvas by the Australian. Bogeri won't go away. Jackson will need to maintain his work rate to get the verdict. It's out to five, though. He's got a good lead now. Luke Jackson. Bogeri back with a point. Coming up, minute six remaining. The Ugandan fighting desperately with both hands, but Jackson boxing curly, and there's the left hook again. The left hook was left hook's been a real winner. And again, guy got caught badly there. He's well, his, his right hand in the first two rounds, Jackson, that did the damage, but yep. his left hook in the last couple has been the better punch. He's a clever, he's a clever, neat boxer, Luke Jackson. He's got he fires well with both hands. Under pressure here. 40 seconds, five points in it. Pretty good lead to Luke Jackson. Bogeri's going to have to get off some flurries if he's going to have any chance of winning. Keep the head and up, a, says the referee. And a good right hand from Luke Jackson. I think that'll just about seal it. 30 seconds remaining. Oh, Bogeri down again. That was... I don't know whether he's tired, but he seems to be falling all over the place at this stage. Fight on, says Brunelvi. Six points, coming up to 20 seconds. Can't see the Ugandan getting back into it from here. It's going to be another win to Luke Jackson. Bagheri needing a knockout. Luke Jackson boxing curly, using the ring. The Australian featherweight representative. Crowd will count it down now, as is their want. Jackson gets on his bike. Bagheri tries to nail him. Not successful. There's the bell. And Jackson is the winner. And the crowd love it. Embraced there by Bodo Andreas, Australian coach. Well, he had three good rounds out of four, didn't he? Barry, really? I guess that'd sum it up. He did. Uh, now, he boxed, he boxed a very... I mean, he's very... He's a mature boxer for a guy with the, you know, experience that he's had. He's, uh, he's got a cool head under pressure because uh, Bogeri really, really put the pressure on him in especially the third round. And uh, he just kept his cool and stuck to his game plan. First round was fairly even, but Jackson made his move in the second. Luke Jackson gets the verdict of the five judges and he advances to the semi-finals in the featherweight Division 57 kilos here at Melbourne 2006.